At the onset of the coronavirus pandemic, it appeared that people were largely spared from the virus, young people. Now doctors say that a rare mysterious illness is appearing in children. Pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome that could be linked to the virus. Children have died in New York and in some European countries. To find out more about this serious illness, we reached out to pediatrician, Dr. Burgi. So COVID can happen from nose to toes. It can happen in any age group, but in children, we are seeing this unusual presentation of Kawasaki disease-like presentation. In 1967, in Japan, Dr. Kawasaki first described Kawasaki disease, which is basically a vasculitis, means the blood vessels in a child's body, they became inflamed, swollen. So the tongue becomes like strawberry, eyes become red, lips become red, you know, sometimes they are broken. They develop lymph node in the neck, hands and leg rash, sometimes peeling of the skin. So these children are sick, but COVID is showing us that it can trigger Kawasaki-like reaction. It can also cause COVID toes, like the toes become blue and purplish with blisters as if it has been a frostbite. And again, due to micro clots in the blood vessel. In youth, there is clots in the lungs and in the heart. When they are pumped up, the middle cerebral artery getting blocked developing stroke because in Europe and China they were describing cluster of cases 12 cases were reported in St. Jean's Hospital in Montreal and over 100 cases have been reported in USA the majority being in New York more than about 80 and about three deaths. So what uh, do parents need to be concerned about or um, as well as children, both of them, what do they need to be aware of? Well, in, in, in children, the presentation of COVID is very atypical. You can have fever, not necessary cough, not necessary even lung symptoms. They can have vomiting, diarrhea, rashes, red eyes, tongue changes. So the parents need to be on guard. They need to watch these symptoms. They can see their doctor or specialist. And if suppose they are uh, having a lot of features suggestive of Kawasaki disease, I think they should go to emergency department because as I mentioned, these children need to be admitted, given intravenous IV, IG. We need to do echocardiogram. We need to check their coronary so that they don't develop heart disease at a very young age. The important factor is because the coronaries, the blood vessel around the heart, they also get affected, they get swollen, and when they heal, they heal with aneurysm or narrowing. The muscles get affected, the wall get affected. If they're not treated in the first 10 days of this illness, the mortality is there, as you see, three kids have passed away, and the morbidity, which is heart disease at a very young age. Dr. Purji, thank you so much for taking your time. And, thank you very uh, much. Yeah. I hope all children are safe, but if they have any of these symptoms, Please call your doctor, don't sit home.